about to take a tram to go all the way up to the mountain. We'll be going up a total of one kilometer in elevation from here all the way here. It's becoming a lot muddier as we get closer. All right, can I get uh, four 30 minute train tickets? Thank you. We're about to take a tram to go all the way up to the mountain because it's about a 45 minute walk from our Airbnb and we want to save our energy for the actual hiking. So now we're about to sneak in Pooch because we're not sure if she's allowed to go on without her crate. So I've got her in my coat. Switching trains to go to the trailhead. We've arrived from taking two trains. Amber successfully took the train with us. We've made it to the beginning of the trail. It's called number 14. It's ranked easy. We'll be going up a total of a near one kilometer in elevation by the time we're at the top. This trail is really easy to follow because all you gotta look for is these things right here on the trees and they mark the trail all the way up. And apparently what we read online is that this, it's well marked. So I can already see another one right there. I don't know how you could get lost from here to here, but they're well marked. Off leash, baby! Twenty minutes in, and I'm already hungry. There's a restaurant at the top. I really hope it's open. We have an hour and a half left until we get to the complete top, which is called Mount Slieme. We've seen a few cyclists now. They're crazy. It's very uphill. It's not that long to climb to the top. Like I think it's supposed to take us two hours. The downhill's worth it, but I think I would just walk my bike up. So these markings here actually mean that this trail is also a popular pilgrimage route. So it's still winter here, so the trees aren't necessarily that nice to look at because there's no leaves, but we've seen a total of four people since we've gotten in here and we're about halfway up, I'd say like an hour in. So if you like peace and quiet, February is the time to come. I told you I was getting hungry. Right behind me looks like a great lunch spot. That's for lunch. It's in your bag. What is it? So I made some chickpea wraps. So I mentioned earlier the yellow and white crosses on the trees, which meant it was a pilgrimage path. And I just stumbled upon a map and it shows the entire trail all the way to what's a church, I think, on the summit. And you start all the way down where we started. I'm a huge fan of beautiful, twisty, curvy, well-paved roads. This road behind me looks amazing. Too bad we have no wheels here, no motorcycle, no car. But if we did, I'd be here every day. It's becoming a lot muddier as we get closer and closer to the top. Lucky for me, I only brought one pair of shoes to this trip. How are you holding up back there? Good. It's hard, but it's so peaceful and so pretty. The mud is adding a fun element of trying to dodge it and finding the best routes. Amber seems to know best, so we try to follow her. And when we don't, this is what happens. There's a building up there, and I think it might be the restaurant. To the beers we go. I think it's that one. We'll fig yeah, it's that. And no business hours with the shot. So there's two restaurants at the top of this hill. One we just passed is closed for sure. There's another one right behind me, and I'm pretty sure it's open. There's a chimney that's burning wood. There's signs out with chalk. Looks like a go. Your pivos, madame. Ooh, thank you, sir. So I walked in there. I said my negovarim havatski ingletski, which means I don't speak Croatian and then just saying English. And she said no. But I got by with the words that I do know, which was pivot. The one word I didn't know, which was French fries that I wanted to order. Oh. I looked it up on Google Translate. It's pommes frites. Who knew? French word. After a nice meal with some fries and a beer, we're heading back down. So the camera's going away. It's getting all packed up. Yeah. So we can get down quicker and get home and get in the heat. Yeah, I'm so cold. B 
be forewarned that we will be going up a lot, so I'm gonna be out of breath. <laughs> so we just took... Well, enough about the trains. <laughs> well, we didn't say the timeline. <laughs> gonna roll up the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like well-deserved fries. <laughs> 